Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. I've got one of the most anticipated tweets of the new Evasion 2014 jailbreak here, guys. Spring to Mice 3 has finally hit the Big Boss repo, and you can get it for $2.99. And we're going to look at some of the features it offers. This is about 50 tweaks wrapped up in one big gigantic tweak guys or application whatever you want to refer to it as as you can see on my screen here I have my icons that look different that's because I have reduced their size I've also changed the color of the badges and I've done a few more things like add color flow to the dock let me show you how, how all this works let's go to spring to my 3 and you can go in through the settings panel or you can go in from the icon on the dock so we're going to go in through the settings panel this time the animations you can increase you probably noticed that they were running much faster and you can reduce or increase the speed by sliding the slider across the screen there you see right here you can run an increase or decrease right here I have it turned all the way up and you see when I change something I get a little pop up here it says settings changed tap to apply but we're not going to tap it because we didn't change anything and you also see here we got an app slider we can choose to hide the icons if you don't want the icons in the app switcher you see right here I've reduced the size of the cards by 50% I think it was but it's pretty awesome guys let's go back settings again now right here uh, we can turn off the, let's turn those off just let me show you what they look like it does require a respring but it don't take but just a second to do so now when it comes back up you'll notice that fade out too that they added to the respring that's awesome a little touch that the developer has added in there as well now when it comes back up you'll notice that the cards are the only thing in the app switcher there won't be any right there you saw below there there's no icon below here it's just simply the card so if we wanted to turn those back on we just flip that switch and I resize the pages by 50 percent I'm going to increase that to about 70 and you can also choose on the home action if you want to have it to respring so let's have that do that as well so I can show you what that does it adds a respring feature to the home card if you swipe down on it but you notice that the respring comes up pretty fast on this now let's go back in here and let me show you what the app switcher offers now here we got the cards back up uh, if I pull down or pull up on the heart on the home card it automatically respring's the device on the lock screen let's go back out here and just go down the list you can change control center you can have the separator bars here if you don't want those you can hide anything you see here quick launch brightness media controls if you remember there was a tweak that we just did a review on not too long ago that did all that I can't re rightly remember the name of it right off the bat but you can change all these dock features if you want to hide your dock you don't even have to have it there you can hide the background of the dock you can resize the dock and I have it increased to 145 percent but I don't have it turned on so let me turn that on you can have the labels in the dock I'm going to choose that and you can have the choose how many different apps you want in your dock one to ten and you can add the cover flow which I've done and you can play around with the factors and the perspectives of that by sliding these sliders to the right or left and that just changes the look of it over the overall feel so if we tap save and respring again and go back out but now when we come back in here you'll see that the dock icons are much much larger because we increased them by 145 percent if you remember up here 
now if we go down to the folders you can change things like you can add nested folders that's folders in folders you can add the option pinch to close transparent background I have that enabled so let me show you what that looks like and there was a uh, tweak that added a clear background I think it was called clear background or better clear something other it was called but we did a review on a tweak guys there's just so many tweaks wrapped up in this one this is going to eliminate the need for you to have to have all those different tweaks and you can change your icons on the screen you can change whether or not you want to hide updates you can lock your layout which is something I really like because you know they do have the tendency sometimes to get it get in you know wiggle mode by their self I've had mine get in wiggle mode and get things moved around and you can disable wiggle mode in here you can disable the uninstall option you can hide badges you can add the icon image fact I haven't played around with that a whole lot but you can change badge colors right here I've, I've changed mine to like a blue color you can change the text color of the writing underneath each icon you can hide newsstand you can hide the spring to mice app that's on the screen the springboard the lock screen right here I played around with mine a little bit you can hide your camera you can change the slider style and I did I added custom on my iPhone captain right there you see I decreased the size of the of the uh, time and there's just so much different stuff you can do with this guys you can change the size of the date and you can go into pages here and hide dots you can disable spotlight and you can resize the icon status bar you can you can customize it by adding a custom carrier you can add custom time up there and you can hide items here that you don't use I've hid the battery percentage you see up there I don't have the the little percent like 10 20 30 40 percent number I hit it so you guys could see how that works there's just a lot of things this does guys this is an awesome tweak and Filippo has done an awesome job he is the developer and you guys definitely want to check this out you can get it in Big Boss for $2.99 and it's going to actually save you money by the time that you consider all the tweaks that it is wrapped up in one. You're actually going to be saving money. So grab it today. I know you'll enjoy it. And by all means, guys, share this on Facebook and Twitter so others can find out that it's out. And please, if you're not a subscriber, we'd like to ask you to subscribe. And hit that subscribe button before you leave. And keep coming back.